as you work on projects and activities in your classes, it doesn't take very long for your Google Drive to get cluttered and disorganized. In this tutorial, we're going to look at a number of different strategies that can be used to organize your Google Drive. We all have different ways we organize information, so you will need to find the system that works best for you to find your files quickly. Let's start by looking at some tips for naming your files in a way that will make them easier to organize and search for. On this tab, I have my Google Drive. There are several folders, and at the bottom I have some loose files that have not yet been organized. First, consider developing a consistent naming system. For example, if I name every file based on the assignment, class, and teacher, it might look something like this. If you name all of your files this way, it becomes easier to search based on keywords to return all the assignments that were named with the class names, teacher names, and then to find the individual assignments. Another system to consider is using a numbering system for your files. If I want to organize files in a simple way, I can add a number at the beginning of each file name. Drive will automatically put them in order by number first and then alphabetically. The same thing is true for folders. The key to using this method is to make sure you always name your files and continue with that numbering system. So let's take a look. So as you can see with the loose files at the bottom, they are now in order based on the numbers first and then based alphabetically second. Another system you can use would involve emojis from your keyboard as well. This doesn't help searching for the files as much, but it does give you a visual way of tracking files within your drive. So for example, here's my emoji keyboard. I'm going to actually, for this Google Doc, I'm going to add a document style emoji. And here's one here. So now my document in my drive is a little bit more visual. And for this Google drawing, let's do the same thing. Control Command Spacebar will bring up your emoji keyboard. I'm going to look for a pencil for that one. All right. So using, if you're a more visual person, using those emojis in your title of your file can make it a little bit easier to identify. Finally, we can borrow from Twitter and Instagram and use hashtags. If I were to add hashtags identifying files, when I search for a topic, all I need to enter is the specific hashtag, and I will see every file with that tag. Let's take a look at how this would work. I'm going to name two of these files as English files. And the other two I'm going to name as math files. So now when I come up to the top, if I use the search functions, I come down to item name and I put in hashtag English. You'll see that both of those documents with the hashtag English show up right at the beginning. While Google Drive can fill up quickly and become disorganized very easily, if you take the time to name files as they are created, it will be much easier to stay organized and quickly find files when you need them.